Hey guys, what's going on? And just before I get into this video, if you do fancy any coins and check out GameGoldTrader.com, use CalFreezy at checkout and grab that huge 10% discount ASAP. And uh, yeah, enjoy the video, guys, where I'll be talking to you all about some FIFA 15 goodness. What's going on, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to this video, where I'm going to be answering your people's questions um, about FIFA 15, about a whole range of things. I recently just got back from Gamescom, and um, yeah, I, I got to play FIFA 15, got my hands on, got to take a look at the new menus, take a look at everything, and uh, yeah, it's actually going to be uh, pretty exciting, and you guys had plenty of questions about, um, you know, uh, what's going on in FIFA 15, so I decided why not do a little video and answer them for you all, if you're wondering, Cal, where the hell are you right now? I am actually in my living room, because my room is, uh, you know, I'm moving soon, I'm moving to a new flat, and so uh, it's not in the best state right now, so I'm going to do it down here. Down here isn't too clean either, but uh, it's better than what my room looks like right now. Anyways, let's talk about it. Let's answer some of your questions. There's some real derps on Twitter, but most of the time, most of you guys are pretty awesome and uh, have some good questions. So let's get stuck into it. All right, first guy from Twitter, um, uh, what's his name? Uh, Arsenal for Life asks, are there any major changes to career mode? So, to answer that question, no, there aren't any major changes to career mode, which, to be honest with you, is a bit of a letdown, you know, of course we always want um, some big changes, some fun changes, things like that, but unfortunately, this year in career mode, there aren't many major changes, there's small changes here and there, um, but there aren't any supersized big ones, you know, there's no multiplayer in career mode, which I mean, I want so bad, you know, I want to be able to do a career mode with my friends, but uh, that's just not available this time around, there's so much different stuff that I wish I could be able to do, you know, like, pick my own a team sponsor, uh, you know, just fun stuff like that. But uh, you know, it, it hasn't turned up this time around. There's been some small changes. Um, instead of having to assign your scouts to certain countries, they'll actually go out by themselves and try and scout for you. So there are a few changes, but as far as major changes, and that's what you asked about, there are no major changes. So uh, we can all just uh, we can all cry together. We can all we can all have a moment and just uh, pray for a FIFA 16 career mode. sorted out the kickoff glitch or otherwise known as the KSI glitch you know that thing you do from the kickoff that everyone seems to do and just fuck you over with at the beginning or the, the middle of the game yeah no they have to fix that one Next up, Michael West asks, is the game naturally fast-paced? Because that's how it seemed like in a couple of videos. And yes, it is quite fast-paced, but what I noticed is what EA like to do, is they like to do this thing where they make the build that you guys get to play at Gamescom, capture events, at Eurogame, but they always make them just that little bit faster. Um, and then when the game comes out, it's a little bit slower than usual, or at least what you've been used to playing at those events. So um, I don't don't expect it to be a, a much, much faster. I expect it to be the same sort of thing as what you've expected in FIFA 14. Is career mode any better or still average? They made some really big fixes to career mode. I really feel as though this year in FIFA, they just fixed the game, or at least that's what I hope they've done because they haven't brought in many features. They haven't brought in big, uh, you know, big new things to play around with. They've literally just spent a lot of time fixing the game. And I'm totally down for them doing that as long as they actually fix the game. The gameplay, the, the glitches, the bugs, things like that. If they genuinely spend time doing that, then I'm more than happy to call FIFA 15 a success. But if they're literally going to come out and there's a whole new host of bugs with not many new features, I'm going to be pissed off. Also, I noticed I'm really white in this light. I've literally got a, 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 a huge window just behind her camera. And I look really white. I promise I'm not this white, guys. I swear I'm not this way. I've left the house, I promise you. Maybe. Okay, Louise asks, is the near post OP? And uh, I actually spoke to one of the developers and they said they've been working on the new goalkeepers and I'll talk a little bit about the goalkeepers in just a second, but the, the thing, one thing he did say was that, um, obvious, of course, you know, a keeper, the one thing you don't do is concede at your near post. And so they were like, yeah, we should probably fix that up. And, uh... I still scored at the near post several times. Speaking of goalkeepers, Charlie Toomer asked, how are, uh, how good are the goalkeepers on FIFA 15 compared to 14? And my friend, they are much better. Now, in the build we played, they said it was 90% complete, and the keepers were still doing some weird stuff. And when I say weird stuff, I mean like blatantly weird stuff. You would be run running up, keeper would run up to go and catch it, and then it would just go right past him, and he would just watch the ball 
go into the back of the net, which is just totally not cool. So um, hopefully they fix that up. That would be great. Uh, and uh, as long as they fix a few uh, bugs and glitches with that sort of stuff, then you're gonna have some really awesome keepers. And uh, trust me, they made some big changes to it. They are so much more realistic. And uh, yeah, I was really happy with them besides obviously the dirt modes that they did, at, you know, once every three games or something like that. Well, that, that wasn't so chill. I, I didn't like that. Ryan Lewis here. Wait, is that Ryan Lewis from Mackle? No, I doubt he follows me and I doubt he's asking about FIFA questions. So, best player you played with, Lionel Messi in this game is pretty sweet. At least on head to head. I didn't play him on the Ultimate Team, but I did play with him on head to head, and he was actually really, really good. Uh, JJ or KSI played against him uh, once. I actually, I actually beat him, and he's pretty fruity about it. So if you want to tweet him about how I beat him, there, then that's totally cool too. But uh, yeah, I managed to beat him, and uh, he was in love with Messi, and Messi did score a really nice goal in that game. So uh, yeah, that happened, and uh, that was pretty fun. Ashley Franklin asks, do you still get proper EA'd all the time? When are we never gonna get EA'd? The FIFA is just one big EA. They are all just playing a game on you. They wanna see you rage and cry over a video game and it works every year. Are crosses still OP? Asks Kevin Exel. And yes, no, I'm joking, they're not. I know, how happy, I, I was so happy, I was like, I can't believe they're not OP, and uh, that's the big thing. A lot of people are asking, are headers OP? Are crosses OP? And what they did to change it was they didn't, I don't think they changed much about the heading, or at least I didn't notice too much uh, change about the heading, but they did change the way crosses and also through balls work. The, uh, the, the difference now is that they're actually a lot more inaccurate, and uh, they're, they're actually pretty balanced. The build that I played, they were pretty balanced, you know, crosses. You know, if you had someone that was good at crossing, sure, he would swing in a nice ball, um, but you know, you couldn't just swing in amazing balls that would just go straight onto your attacker's head 90% of the time. It just doesn't happen. And that's the same with through balls. You have someone like Ozil, maybe someone like Coutinho, a player like that, playing through balls. They're going to play nice through balls, whereas before you could literally play it with your center back over the top through ball and it would land on your attacker's uh, chest and you would run ahead and run away and score. So um, yeah, they changed the accuracy of through balls and crosses. So I'm uh, pretty happy with that. Right, okay. So my man, man Manxter Stay. Okay, I butchered that one. Asked a bunch of questions. He asked like five or six, and I've just chosen three of them. I'm sorry, but your other ones are pretty crap. But these ones I liked, man. I like these questions. Are there handballs in online mode? No, there aren't, and I don't think there will be for a little while. Do you do the goalkeepers rebound shit shot straight to the attackers? No, they don't. That is one of the new awesome things about goalkeepers. Instead of it automatically being targeted to one player nearby, it can literally go out into space. You know, it's not always gonna go straight to another player. So uh, yeah, I like that a lot. That was sweet, and I noticed that a lot when I played the game. Have people's XP levels been reset, or do they carry on from FIFA 14? So you can buy loads for the catalog. I believe it continues. I believe it continues. Don't quote me on that, but I'm pretty sure it continues. It would be weird if they if they reset me, I'm gonna be pissed off. Anyways, how are they updating career mode? They have just made a bunch of small fixes here and there. Um, you know, instead of players not be, you know, a young player might go an entire season and he doesn't even get one, you know, one overall upgrade. And that's just, that's not right, you know? As a young player, you are gonna be getting better. One example that I saw from Foothead was that, um, you know, they had Yanazai, they played with Manchester United, and Yanazai went up four overall ratings in three quarters of a season. And that's a lot more realistic. You have a young player who has a good season, what do you know, he goes up by four overall ratings. That's much more like it. So you're gonna see a lot more dynamic changes when it comes to player growth, especially with young players. Another thing is that when players hit the age of 30, they tend to just plummet down and literally they they honestly get put in a wheelchair at the age of 30 according to EA, but they managed to fix that and uh, that would be good, you know, it, they don't have to they don't have to do that. And I believe there was something to do with retiring. I'm trying to remember now. I believe if a player is going to retire, he can go another year if you want him to or something like that. Okay, I'm gonna I don't know what I'm talking about. Are headers and through balls still OP, or is there a, a new thing this time that will be abused? I've already spoken about headers and through balls. Will there be a new thing that's OP? I'm not sure. I haven't played the game enough, but if you guys find out, you gotta let me know because I need to start winning games on FIFA 15 ASAP so I can take some people's players early on in the game. Hey. Why are you crashing my video? Anyways, guys.
guys, that's gonna wrap it up for this video. If you guys have any more questions, then feel free to drop your questions down below. I'll do my best to answer them. I didn't really talk too much about Ultimate Team. I apologize that for that. It was, it was quite a career mode based uh, question and answer. I've also sent over some questions to one of the uh, EA developers. Hopefully you get back to me on some of those questions and uh, you know I'll be able to give you guys more info on my next FIFA 15 Q&A, which if this video hits 2,000 likes, I will most certainly do because FIFA 15 is gonna be fucking sweet. You know what I'm saying, people? You know what I'm saying? See ya. Bye. Okay. I won't do that again.